What's going on everybody? It's your boy Big O back again with another vid. Uh, just would like to say I uh, hope everyone is having a glorious day. I appreciate you tuning in. If you enjoy what you're watching, definitely go ahead and smash that like button. Definitely subscribe. And uh, I was actually doing a little tank maintenance today on, on one of my enclosures. And I decided to just make a little video about how I put together my uh, Aqua Clear 110 filters. Um, I really enjoy using these filters. I've been using them for, I'd say, about almost 10 years now on uh, many different enclosures over the years. And uh, in, you know, as far as in the world of, of power filters, or as a lot of times they refer to hang on back filters, this is definitely the only one I would recommend. It's the only one that I've had any success with. And um, they're just, they're. I don't think there's anyone out there on the market that's better than them for the 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 power that you're getting for the for the money that you're paying for it and for the uh the versatility of it so uh everything is uh rinsed out everything is nice and clean uh, i did a quick little water change and now i'm getting ready to put the filter back on the tank so this is how we're gonna do it Oh, also before I start, I'd like to say that um, most of the things that you're going to see me use come with the filter, including most of the media, which is uh, another advantage of, of these particular filters. But anyway, this is the sort of cage that kind of like holds all the media in place, and it, everything goes right in here. As you can see, you know, this is my hand, and that's, that's the filter. Uh, for those of you who might be watching this who know me no I have pretty big hands so uh, this can kind of give you an idea of how big this thing is we're talking about something that's probably 13 inches across yeah I'd say about 13 14 inches max but uh, there's a good amount of space in there it goes down uh, pretty deep as you can see so the first thing we're gonna do I'm gonna grab the cage here and we're gonna grab this foam block this foam block I've had uh, since I've been using this particular filter, which is about seven years now. And as you can see, it's still, you know, it, I can twist it, I can pull it, I can stretch it. Uh, it's still in good shape. You got to consider the fact that um, without having to replace the foam block often, as you might with, you know, different foam blocks or different filter pads or what have you, uh, in the long run, it's definitely going to save you a couple bucks. So you got to keep that in mind. Uh, this is one of, the, one of the items that actually comes with this filter. So we we'll put the foam block in there, slide the cage in there, and uh, on the next layer, uh, this particular media that I'm about to use didn't come with this filter. It came, well I bought this for another filter that I used to have. These four foam blocks, well foam pads, I was using for my uh, XP XL, which uh, <laughs> I don't have anymore, but I just, they were about this big, I cut them in half, and now I use them for here, which you may be able to notice, now I'm not sure if the camera's going to be able to pick this up, but these two here, uh, the pores are larger than these two here, this is a lot more porous, so what I do is, I'm going to use these two as the first layer, and these two as a layer over that. Reason being is because this filter, water comes in through here, it gets pushed into the bottom and the filter, uh, it filters from the bottom to the top and obviously the water cascades out of here. So you got to keep that in mind when you're putting this thing together. So what we're going to do is take the pads that are more porous uh, and we're going to put those in next. Uh, reason for that is that as the water comes through, it'll trap the larger particles, and any uh, particles that kind of escape this particular pad will uh, get trapped by the next pads because obviously the pores are smaller and there's less room for any debris to move through them. So we we'll just kind of throw these in there. You know, it's not like a perfect fit, but it doesn't really matter. As long as uh, you got something in there to kind of filter everything. So we'll put the next layer. Then we'll go ahead and 
and my uh, this is a media bag full of uh, ammo carb, which is a mixture mixture of ammonia chips and uh, activated carbon. That's going to help with the clarity of the water and any smells or anything like that that might build up. I'm going to just plop that right in there, and if I can reach them, this would be the bio media. Uh, there's a mixture of like um, the I guess the ceramic little cylinders that are very popular and there's another media in here that I got from a company called Seacamp. I can't remember what it's called right now but I really really like using it. Uh, it's you know for me it works really well. Don't mind uh, the media bag. It looks a little bit dirty but that's not a problem at all. So we're just gonna throw that right in there and it's basically ready. So I got the foam block, I have four foam pads, and I have my chemical media and my bio media. And here is, uh, this is the piece that connects to the pump. This part connects to the pump on the inside. This will connect to the intake tube, like this, oh, <laughs> excuse me. right there and uh, it's actually two pieces in one you don't have to use both of them I just like putting both of them together so uh, it can reach as far down to the bottom of the tank as possible and that's pretty much it I will put this back in to the uh, to connect it to the pump hang it to the hang it uh, on the tank fill this entire area with water and you plug it in and that's pretty much it it's ready to go very simple very easy to use and very effective uh, you know you really couldn't ask for anything much more uh, this particular model I would save using it for something larger than I'd say like a 55 gallon tank unless you're gonna be cleaning out the filter and doing water changes very frequently uh, because we all know turtles are extremely messy I would definitely recommend that you use uh, at least two filters, like this one plus something else. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'll be using this on my 75 gallon. Uh, as I might have mentioned before, I also was running a uh, XP4 or XPXL, whatever you want to call it, which is a pretty large canister filter. And um, fortunately, I don't have that filter anymore. So, uh, but uh, I definitely am uh, looking into getting another one because I really enjoy using that filter. But for right now, this is what's working for me. And, um, you know, I just have to clean it a little more often, but that's not a problem. It's not really a big deal. It doesn't take very long at all. And I mean, yeah, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't ha recommend this filter any more than I already do. It's, you know, it's. It's been working for me for years, and it's it's going strong, and I have really absolutely no complaints. So, um, if you're gonna go with a power filter, aka hang on back, I will personally uh, highly recommend the Aqua Clear 110. Uh, like I said, it's been working for me great. I use it on a couple of my enclosures, and you know, turtles are clean, water's clean, turtles are happy, they're healthy, so I know it's working. Uh, that being said, we're going to cut this one short, and until the next time, happy reptile keeping. Peace.